Nick Clegg on Snooper's charter attack. Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg is to reaffirm his party's opposition to a so-called Snooper's charter. Since last week's attacks in Paris, David Cameron has said the intelligence services need new powers to read the contents of communications. In a speech, Mr Clegg will warn that new measures to track email and web traffic would undermine UK freedoms. The Liberal Democrats blocked plans for a communications data bill, dubbed the Snoopers Charter, in 2012. At the time party leader Mr Clegg said plans to store details of online activity would not happen while his party was in government. The Prime Minister has raised the possibility of the plans being revived if he is still in Downing Street after the general election, as well as measures to break into the encrypted communications of suspected terrorists. Mr Clegg will argue we do not make ourselves safer by making ourselves less free. Dramatic shift. In a speech later at a reception for journalists at the Irish Embassy in London, Mr Clegg is expected to say, the irony appears to be lost on some politicians who say in one breath that they will defend freedom of expression and then, in the next, advocate a huge encroachment on the freedom of all British citizens. Let me be really clear, we have every right to invade the privacy of terrorists and those we think want to do us harm but we should not equate that with invading the privacy of every single person in the UK. They are not the same thing. The Snoopers Charter is not targeted. It's not proportionate. It's not harmless. It would be a new and dramatic shift in the relationship between the state and the individual. Mr Clegg will also reiterate his party's commitment to a Bill of Rights that would safeguard the freedom of expression. Draft legislation tabled by Home Secretary Theresa May in 2012 would have extended the requirement for companies to retain phone and email data to include records, but not the content, of every individual's internet browsing activity. New anti-terror legislation will be needed by the end of 2016 when existing powers expire. Line. Data laws. A stock image of audio waves. Draft Communications Data Bill 2012 would have extended the range of data communications companies have to store for 12 months. It would have included, for the first time, details of messages sent on social media, web mail, voice calls over the internet and gaming, in addition to emails and phone calls. Officials would not have been able to see the content of the messages without a warrant. The bill, dubbed the Snoopers Charter by critics, was blocked by the Lib Dems. Data Retention and Investigatory Powers Act 2014-15, introduced as emergency legislation to maintain the requirement for phone and internet companies to log records, but not content, of calls, texts and internet use. Counterterrorism and Security Bill 2014-15, part of the bill going through Parliament would add to the Data Retention and Investigatory Powers Act to allow Internet Protocol, IP, address matching. This would identify the individual or the device that was using a particular IP address at any given time.